Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In just 5 minutes, 5 steps, no extra software, your Windows PC will be much safer from viruses, hackers and unauthorized access. So let's get started. So the very first thing here is to check the Windows Defender antivirus settings. So I'll do a right click in the start icon. I'll go to settings. And here we will go to privacy and security. And then we will click on Windows security. Once you do that, we need to click on this virus and threat protection. Please make sure no, I mean, real time protection is turned on and also check for the protection updates like this. Check for updates. All right. So once it is done, you can simply click on oh, home and make sure it is turned on. Now the next step is to turn on the firewall protection. I'll show you how you can do that. So I'll click on search icon and I'll type control. And you will find control panel. And from here, you can select view by large icons once you do that we will look for the firewall option windows defender firewall i can see it right here i'll click on that and make sure it is turned on and here as well for the guest or public network and for the private network as well it should be turn on if you want to know how you can you can simply click click on here windows defender firewall turn off from here you can turn on right once you are done with this we will move to the next step to protect our and enhance privacy of the computer the next one is again we need to check the app and browser control so i'll do a right click i'll go to settings then we will go to privacy and security and then windows security and here we will look for app and browser control and make sure reputation based control protection we will click on that and it should be turned on check apps and files smart screen for microsoft edge phishing protection and you can do the check mark and potential unwanted app blocking make sure it is turned on block apps block download should be checked all right and smart screen for microsoft store app should be turned on so it's really a very good practice you can check all these options and make sure it is all selected and turned on once it is done i'll close it the next is to turn on the bitlocker drive encryption or encryption it is for the pro users so if you're using windows home then it might not you might not get the option you will not get the option so click on the search icon and type bitlocker and you will find device encryption settings all right so the moment i click on bitlocker drive in inscription uh, encryption it will ask for to upgrade from home to pro However, this device encryption encrypt data on this device to help protect from offline unauthorized access. We can turn on and it will ask you to say yes. And this will be turned on. So device encryption helps protect your files and folders from unauthorized access in case your device is stolen or lost. So you can turn it on this and this will make sure your computer is good now there is the last step which we need to do is to go to the setting option again do a right click go to settings and then we will go to personalization and here we have this lock screen and select screen timeout so this screen timeout is something let's say if you leave your computer for a while it should be turned on right so you can select it for a minute two minutes 
or whatever you want to. So I'll click on screen. So turn my screen off after five minutes, which is recommended, right? You can make it lesser. It is up to you. So I have selected the recommended on battery. I have selected three minutes, which is recommended one. So you can also try that. All right. And the final one is a bonus quick tip. Now to do that, we need to go to the settings like right here. We will go to system and we will scroll down like this and you will find remote desktop remote desktop users connection permission now your home windows edition doesn't support remote desktop which is good but if you're using pro you can turn off or toggle off i would say right so this is how you can protect your computer and i'm sure you will like it and if you think that this tutorial is helpful, please hit the like and subscribe and do share this tutorial with your loved ones, family and friends. All right. I'll be glad if you hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. Have a wonderful day. Take care.